In this video, we'll discuss working with the adaptive homework, which consists of the topics one, two, and three homework. You can either start using the Start My Path option or by selecting the Learn option from the main menu. Selecting either of those puts you in learning mode where you're given a test or example question. Once you understand how the example works and you're okay with the explanation, you would move on to demonstrate your skill. In this case, the question we're looking at is the mean of a data set. The description is at the top left. Note that we don't need to work on this specific question. There is a, an expansion button at the top left that we can click on to see a full set of available skills to work on, and we can select from those. There are a few that are going to be locked such as this one here, that means that there are some preliminary skills that you have to complete first. Taking a look at this specific question, we're looking at an average over six points. You have the help menu at the right-hand side, including a calculator. In this case, there's a tip to use the calculator. If we send data there, you'll notice, and if you do the calculator tutorial in Alex, you'll see uh, various options available here. There's a sum function, which adds up the values for you. If we then divide by the number of points, that gives us rounded to one decimal, the answer that we're given in the explanation for this example question. So once we're comfortable here, we move on to demonstrating our skill by pressing start. Note that we are no longer on the learning page. We now have an actual question and we can answer this using the same technique that we just saw. We send the data, data to the calculator. In this case, we have seven points. So if we divide by seven, we end up with rounded to the nearest 10th, 13.6. We press check to check our answer. And notice that we get plus one on our bar here. As discussed in a previous video, you'll need three correct in a row or five correct total in order to complete a skill. What will happen here is that your second correct answer will take you to three bars. The third correct answer would take you to five. But if you get another correct one and then miss one, you'll have to uh, move back on that bar. Let me demonstrate there. So we were correct on that question. Let's do another one. Here we'll send the data to the calculator again. We take the sum. In this case, we have eight data points. And we don't need any rounding since we already have tenths here. If we check, we're correct again. And now if we were to answer another one correctly, we would end up at five points. Let me demonstrate what happens if we don't answer correctly. So let's put in a value that we know is incorrect. Eight is much too low in this case. When we check our answer there, uh, we get 
put we get moved back one space so your goal here is to get all the way to five bars here we can try again in this case when we do that so we again take the sum we divide by the number of data points and we recheck, we now get our credit back and we continue from here. Note that if you answer too many questions incorrectly in a row, uh, Alex may suggest that you take a break. Also, even if you're not done with a particular skill, you can switch at any point to another skill and then move back to that one. So let's say you've answered one or two correctly um, and you want to switch to a different skill. You can do it at that point and then move back to your first skill later on. In any case, we can leave off here at any point, go back to the main menu, we can also go to review and that will show us the skills that we have already mastered. Again, we can select from those. This is something that we can use if we want extra practice after we've already completed skills. And once we're done, working with the adaptive homework. If we want to do more in Alex, we can, of course, head back to our login screen.